So now we've got a Google Sheet with all of our uh, comments and then our sentiment scores attached to each one. Um, but one thing I've noticed now is that some of these some of these comments is I've got like a, a zero. So I don't know if this means that they're neutral or not. Um, but what what we can do is this may 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 mess up our, our average sentiment score so if we go back into parabola let's get rid of those um you see parabola makes it really easy for us to do so if we go back into our draft add another filter in here uh, actually no let's add in our row filter match every rule add a rule you can obviously break up the flow and add a separate one if you want but we're just going to do it here Rose to filter, um, it's going to be, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to want to filter those out. So if we uh, remove the Google Sheet connection, and um, we're going to want to add in another filter here after this column filter, and it's going to be a row filter and it transforms. It's going to be removing the comment sentiment score that equals zero. Cool. So now we've got rid of them. We're good to go. Go back. Add in your Google Sheets export again. Okay. Now once we're done, go press publish again. Once we're on and run it again. Cool. Go back in here. Now we should see our sentiment scores uh, without the zeros. Perfect. Next, we're going to want to get an average sentiment. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to get the average of these numbers in B. Okay. So to do that, you just show you how to do that again. Press equals, average, enter, click the B column here, bracket, enter. Okay. So now we're getting a, a general sentiment of 49. Um, and the sentiment uh, scale goes from minus 100 to 100. So these 89, see, these are pretty high sentiment. And you get minus, some minus on them as well. Obviously, sometimes points are quite short. So, but we're getting a general um, positive sentiment here. And now what we can do, uh, we can then go and send this as a notification to ourselves via email, via Slack, however we want to do it. Okay, so let's quickly um, see where we are. We've an API, we format, filter and combine, we've run the sentiment analysis, um, we've done the formula, now we just need to send out the results notification. So to do this one, uh, we are going to use Integromat um, because Integromat has a nice feature where it allows you to watch a specific cell which can be a bit of a pain sometimes in Google Sheets so open Integromat we're going to create a new scenario and it's going to be Google Sheets and it's going to be Gmail first step in Google Sheets and we're going to watch we're going to get a uh, we're going to get a cell and we're going to set the spreadsheet to sheet one and then we're going to put the cell in here which you're going to want to get so this is going to be e2 press ok then press gmail and create a gmail enter an email address you want to send it to and then the value from the cell Okay, so what this is going to do now, it's going to run, uh, it's going to run once, you can obviously schedule it um, to whenever you want, and then it's going to send you out an email, giving you that, let's see, let's run it, check it works, okay, so we've got a cell, and we've sent an email, Let's have a look, if it's got the information you want, you can also check it out here, or you can check it out inside your Gmail, if you want, you could format this, uh, just make it a general number um, maybe a good idea is to add like a, a plus if you want to or a minus and um, yeah the general sentiments there 
and if you want you can then check your Gmail to see if it's come through but in this case you know it's been sent so that's all right I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's a one that might be pretty useful if you're checking out influences if you're a marketer um, or you're dealing with influences in any business and um, so it's always good to see what like, the general feel is of somebody from their social accounts if you have any questions about how to set it up and run it my twitter is at tomosman just reach out and send me a message or if you're a makeup member reach out directly inside the makeup slack and i'll be happy to help enjoy let me know if you have any problems